Hi, my name is Bellumi, Product Marketing Manager at Move Up Forward. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to integrate Bitbucket Server with Jenkins Pipelines. I'd like to first show you what the final result looks like um, when I've integrated my Jenkins and Bitbucket. So we go into our Bitbucket repository. I created, and you'll see more about this um, in the demo, I created a repository one and then we just click on add file, add file text. Now we would make an edit. Just see, I want to show this demo. It's I'm going to create a pull request for this change. So immediately continue to merge and create. Merge. And once I go into my Jenkins, you see it's already demo project, which is what um, is integrated to my Bitbucket. It's already loading right now. A few seconds. Yeah, we see our most recent commits um, 37 seconds ago, our most recent merge rather 37 seconds ago. And once I open the demo projects, exactly last build last stable build so it immediately collects the data from the merge from bitbucket and translates it directly into my projects in jenkins so right now i have my jenkins open and the first thing before even doing an integration is to install some plugins um just go directly to manage jenkins you will then see plugins click on there um, so for me, I already have this installed, these plugins rather installed for this demo. But for you, you would have to go under available plugins to find them. For me, I'll just go directly to installed plugins. The first plugin we need to install is the Git parameter plugin. Um, installed plugins. So you would see it under available plugins, or if you already have it installed, then you find it under the um, installed plugins, the Git parameter plugin. The second plugin you need to install is the build authorization roots token plugin. Build authorization. So you see those two plugins, um, once you have them installed, we're good to go. So back to the dashboard. Once I have my plugin set up, what I need to do right now is create a new project. So I would name this demo project simply use a freestyle project for the for the purpose of this demo and click on ok so i would say this is a demo click on this option to say this project is parameterized and select git parameter um for then this option immediately comes up um, name this branch tag this as branch and master it so we need our repository url and this is your repository on bitbucket i have already set up a repository already have this repository set up on this bucket and what i need to do is simply copy this url out of here and into jenkins it will immediately pop up an error but not to worry once we select our credentials the error is going to disappear yes then trigger select the option to trigger Builds remotely. I am going to now. You have to create like an authentication token. I am simply going to use demo hyphen authentication 
cooking. And there you have it. We have set up our project on Jenkins. Now to the Bitbucket, um, to the Bitbucket part of the integration. To complete, to complete this integration, we simply have to go into the repository settings on Bitbucket. So click on repository settings that was already open before. And under workflow, click on post webhooks. Then you select to add a webhook. I would name this demo Jenkins Jenkins projects, and we would then be using the URL. This URL is a combination of our URL from Jenkins and then other um, other custom other custom tokens from like our integration on Jenkins from our project rather on Jenkins, I would put in the caption for this video, the guide for building your URL. But right now for me, I would simply just copy and paste my URL into this box and select skip SSL certificate validation. Um, click here to test connection, works brilliantly and I would click to save. And there you have it. You see our um, trigger right there set up um, for our project. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, we'd really love to know too. Thank you.